somewhere in the San Bernardino Mountains, you can find someone making an ascent to the top. Yeah, yeah, you'll start to figure out why it come up here so often. Or... Ascending up to 11,000 feet in elevation, there's a whole lot to see. And this right here really isn't the prettiest part or the prettiest mountain. For one particular hiker, this ascent will be their 50th, all starting for one joke. Um, I got into hiking through meetup.com and I got in with a group of people and I never really managed to make it on this hike. It was around 2015 and then the whole forest was closed for a few years. So it turned into a joke that I had done all these other hikes that were harder and never summited San Gregorio. For Susan making her 50th ascent, sometimes there are moments when life throws obstacles in the way. I had had a, a hiking accident that had traumatized me and I didn't realize it until a few years later that it really kind of put me on a down, downhill spiral. And I started, like I said, just sort of shutting myself off. And I think that's why I feel so emotionally attached to um, this wilderness now is because it really helped me get through that period of time. During the time of the shutdown of 2020, being away from home is not the easiest. But there is something special about seeing that special place after being separated for so long. I remember in 2020 going to Big Bear with friends and doing a, a fall hike, which was really beautiful. And when we came up to the ridge line where you could view this mountain and the entire San Bernardino ridge line, it, it really brought tears to my eyes to see it again. When it comes to taking pictures on hikes, they're irresistible. But some pictures are more meaningful, especially with a view that many normally don't see. I usually, when I'm by myself, I just go up. This is the only mountain I always take a picture on. So I go up, take a picture. I might hang out 20 minutes if I run into someone I know. Making the ascent for the hundredth time is just around the corner, even if there are moments of being behind the time playing to factor. But Susan doesn't plan on hanging up those hiking sticks anytime soon. Before the El Dorado fire, I was hoping to make my 100th summit by my 60th birthday, but I lost some time there and it's getting a little too close for that to happen, but I do plan to continue to come back here. Reporting from Mount Gorgonio of the San Bernardino Mountains, I'm Kyle Kalamoto.